Hello, my name is Raphael Walker and I'm product line manager for Serval Vehicle. Introduced for the first time in Euro Satori uh, this year, which is presented here in two configurations. The first one is the commandment post for three operators to uh, radio communication and uh, be in contact with headquarters. And then the other version you have here is a combat group under protection and uh, this specific version is equipped with uh, anti-aircraft capability. It's a personal carrier vehicle. You have a group, uh, combat group of eight people with two uh, in front of the vehicle, the driver and the tactical leader. So uh, 10 people uh, in global. The Serval is protected uh, for ballistic threat and uh, mine threat. The maximum speed of the vehicle is 100 kilometers. The cruising range is over 600 kilometers. Uh, Griffin as Serval is known for its mode versatility. Uh, you have 12 main versions for Griffin uh, vehicles and uh, up to uh, 26 for Serval. The two vehicles will replace the VAB on two different programs. So you have VLTPP and uh, VAB. Actually, the same amount uh, for Griffon and Serval. You have 10 personnel in board of the vehicle, a group of combat of eight, and then a driver and a tactical leader. Uh, better protected for uh, Griffon, of course, because it's heavier, a heavier vehicle, but uh, uh, they are still both well protected. So uh, good morning, my name is Guillaume Penga, I'm the marketing director for vehicles within the Nexta group. Um, the concept of Jaguar is to rationalize and optimize French equipment of the French cavalry and basically it is intended to replace three vehicles of the French army, so the MX-10 RC for the light cavalry, the ERC-90 also for the light cavalry and the VAB Mephisto which was the uh, anti-tank heavy equipment of the French army as well and now with one single solution, which is Jaguar. Actually, the main asset of the Jaguar, beside of the chassis, which is quite small and compact for protection purposes, is also that the turret is actually full of technologies. And besides all the common equipment with the Scorpion uh, program, you have two main uh, weapon systems that make Jaguar's system exhaustive on the battlefield. First, you have the CT-40 cannon developed by Nexta in conjunction with the CTAI. The capability of the cannon allows the Jaguar to treat any uh, target from light infantry to light aircraft by the variation of ammunition that Nexta is able to provide. The cannon will allow you to address any target up to three kilometers. And in conjunction with this, we have also the capability to defeat heavy infantry fighting vehicle and main battle tanks thanks to the inclusion of Acheron anti-tank missile provided by MBA, which are embedded into a pod uh, located on the side of the turret. For the uh, anti-tank missiles, the current system Acheron, is designed previously known as MMP, is uh, capable to attack a target at a good distance of four kilometers. It's part of the uh, Scorpion architecture, so that Nexter is uh, working on alongside Talos, Atos and other members of the industrial consortium. And in this turret, and that's why also this turret is quite big compared to the chassis, you have all the common uh, Scorpion, Vetronics and uh, other electronic equipment, so including the uh, C2, the radio systems, the jammers and so on and so forth. This is a 12.7 turret uh, provided by Arcus, well, Hornet now, and this is also part of the Scorpion uh, native equipment. Actually, the, uh, the fact is that the mobility of the Jaguar is uh, up to the highest standard. We took into account the fact that this vehicle is supposed to be used in very various environments, including deserts, forests, Central Europe, of course, but also urban areas. And that is also why we decided to implement a 40 mm cannon, which is shorter compared to a 105 or 90 mm, to enhance the use of this weapon system inside a very constrained environment such as uh, urban areas, especially where uh, streets are very narrow. Well, the 6x6 is actually the best compromise in that case for the uh, mobility. And mobility, as you know, is not only part of the tactical uh, results of the, on the battlefield, but it also contributes to the protection. Because if you are very mobile, you are not an easy target. Are part of the crew, three people. So one gunner, one tank commander, one driver. Good morning, my name is Gérard Grisery. Uh, I am in the uh, systems uh, business unit of Nexter Systems. So we are here in front of uh, French Army Leclerc in BT, uh, which is undergoing uh, an upgrade, XLR, renovated Leclerc. The aim of this uh, renovation is to include the Leclerc systems inside the Scorpion collaborative combat by integrating the common uh, Scorpion uh, electronics. 
We have improved the protection, first of all, by uh, the Azure Kit, which is uh, an anti-RPG solution. We've also put underneath an anti-IED and mine uh, protection. We've also put some uh, jammers. We have uh, the barrage jammer at, uh, at the rear part of the turret. We've also reinforced the firepower by uh, installing uh, a remote weapon station, the 7.62. Uh, inside, we have renovated the electronics. We have treated some uh, obsolescence, uh, redeveloped uh, the software in order to be able to uh, fire new ammunitions, multi-mode ammunitions. We also renovated the uh, man-machine interface uh, by including touch screens and uh, that kind of thing in instead of uh, traditional panels. That are the main features.